Hello friends, this is Ishwa here and in this video let us see how to install MIUI 10 on the Redmi Note 3 and let us also see what are its new features. So before getting into the installation part, let me tell you the common doubts when you install this MIUI 10 on any Xiaomi phone. So first of all, do we need to have a locked boot lo bootloader or an unlocked bootloader? I will always prefer unlocked bootloader as if you have a locked bootloader you need to update it via your updater app and you need to choose the update package but most likely it will result you in a verification error and you need to always unlock your bootloader when it comes to global beta ROMs so uh, make sure you have an unlocked bootloader and second thing is that whether your data will be erased or not as of this installation of MIUI 10 on the Redmi Note 3 your data is not going to be erased but make sure that you always take a backup of your phone and your uh, social media like whatsapp so that uh, even when anything goes wrong you can easily restore with that so without wasting any more time let's get started So here I am with the Redmi Note 3 running on MIUI 9. Let me show you that I'm running MIUI 9 by getting into about phone. And then here's it MIUI 9.5 global stable ROM. So before updating, uh, just take a backup of your uh, data and all your system settings and things like that by getting into local backup and entering your passcode and then backup all your data so that if your data gets erased it is easy to restore it whenever you restore to a MIUI ROM so after that also take a backup of your social media and stuff like whatsapp and it will be good to go so after that just download the MIUI 10 file from the link which is given in the description box below here is it you can just download it from this link I will leave this link in the description box below so you can just download it from this link so after that all you need to do is power off your phone and then all you need to do is boot into your preferred recovery by pressing the volume up and power button simultaneously now after it vibrates just wait for a few seconds for, for your recovery to boot up and then uh, you can install the MIUI 10 so the recovery is now booted you just need to tap on install and then get into the folder where you have saved your MIUI 10 ROM I have it over here and then swipe to flash it will take a few seconds to flash this ROM so sit back and relax and wait for the process to complete now after the MIUI 10 ROM is flashed just get back and then also flash this lazy flasher no validity zip we are flashing this lazy flasher no validity otp encrypt zip because whenever MIUI directs that we have ch changed something in our rom it uh, doesn't allow to boot into our rom so we need to flash this lazy flasher zip file to be safe and then after it is flashed just wipe the catch and dali catch and then reboot to the system you need to wait for a few more minutes as it is a big update and it will take a few more minutes to turn on your phone so as you can see there is a loading bar over here so it will just take a few more minutes to boot into our phone So here is it, finally it is booted on MIUI 10, it took about 8 minutes to boot up and as you can see the MIUI 10 lock screen is here and let me just unlock it and here is it, MIUI 10 on the Redmi Note 3 but the fun part is there is nothing new in the notification shade as well as the reasons, it is the same but you know what the split screen mode is over here which we should have got it in MIUI 9 but finally we have got it in MIUI 10 so let me get into settings 
and this setting screen looks uh, similar like MIUI 10 and when you get into about phone it is still Android Marshmallow and here is it MIUI 10 global beta and Android version Marshmallow so now you get the search settings option which is which looks similar to MIUI 10 when you get into camera it is almost the same it looks as the same as MIUI 9 and when we get into options there is no AI portrait mode which they introduced in their launch which they said that MIUI 10 will get this feature but as of now Redmi Note 3 hasn't got it and I hope with some future updates it will improve and there will be a new vision screen and a notification center and when we get into additional settings there's no nothing new over here and when we scroll down to there is nothing new over here the button toggles looks a bit improved and a bit changed when it comes to MIUI 10 so here's my final opinion about MIUI 10 on the Redmi Note 3 after using it for about 3 to 4 hours and what I would say is you just need to upgrade as the recent screen and notification shade is not changed as in looks but when you go through the OS you feel the change and the performance improvement and main thing is that it also feels as how it was on MIUI 9 for Redmi Note 4 so I don't even miss the Redmi Note 4 anymore so the Redmi Note 3 is much more better the nature sounds the new wallpaper all those are pretty much great I hope uh, you will upgrade and experience the same so that's it for today's video I hope you enjoyed this I know the split screen mode is the only new thing which we expected for the Redmi Note 3 on the MIUI 9 but only we got this feature in MIUI 10 so if you install this MIUI 10 on the Redmi Note 3 let me know your thoughts on the comment section below and if you like this video hit the like button and if you want to share this video to your friends hit the share button so thanks for watching have a great day peace